Hello, you beautiful people. It's Tooth here, Tooth Decay. We've been staying at the beautiful Sandals Regency La Toc in St. Lucia, and we've just been over to the Halcyon Beach, and now we've arrived at the stunning Sandals Grand St. Lucian. There are 12 restaurants on site. You have the Bayside Brasserie, Toscanini's Italian, the Creperie, which is like the Cafe de Paris at other resorts, Barefoot by the Sea, the Oldie London Pub, which we did creep into for a couple of beers. Very nice in there, very big and airy. Gordon's over the water, absolutely stunning. Still a bit like Kelly's Dockside over at Halcyon Beach. Dino's Pizzeria, always a lunchtime favorite, as is the always awesome Jerk Chicken Shack. And then there's Mariner's Seaside Bar and Grill, plus free staples of sandals. You've got the Bombay Indian Restaurant, Soy Sushi Bar, and Kimono's Teppanyaki Dining Experience. Reservations are required at Kimono's, Bombay, and Gordon's, but even in attire is only required at Toscanini's, which the website says is dress pants or jeans for men, long or short sleeve dress shirts with or without collar, dress shoes or sandals, and it goes on to say no shorts, no t shirts no sleeveless shirts, no sneakers or trainers as we will call them in the UK, no flip-flops, no slippers and no hats. So there you go. The free shuttles between the resorts run frequently every day. And first impressions are that this is a completely different vibe again. There are five pools at this resort, including a zero entry signature pool. And the sea here is by far the calmest of the three sandals resorts on the island. It's set on its own peninsula, so expect breathtaking views all round. In terms of rooms, there are six different categories of luxury level rooms, seven categories of club level, and six categories of butler elite, which includes those over the water Maldivian style bungalows. If you want to know more about the difference between the three levels, luxury club and butler, my full resort tour on Regency Latoc contains more info. Here next to the pub, you can see the billiards room. And you've got your loyalty and travel center, which is where returning guests can come and get their t-shirts and a bottle of rum, and also book the best rates on another holiday for a future year. Then you've got the Columbian Emeralds, stay out of there if you don't want to get divorced. Man, that shop's expensive. Oh, look at these big beasties on the wall here. He's got the right horn. We've done a separate video on the shop here and also separate videos for the shops at the other two resorts as well. So links below, but for now, let's carry on with the walk around. You've got snapshots there, which is where you can go and get your photos from your stay and also the ballroom. And it looks like we're going into guest areas. So I'm gonna turn around here and head back to the main lobby. 
In this area, you've got your main reception desk where luxury level guests will check in and the culinary concierge desk. And you can see the piano over there as well. That's another sandal signature feature. And just here, you can learn more about the Brilliant Sandals Foundation, which helps on average 100,000 people a year through education, environmental conservation and community development. And then we head out to those stunning views over Rodney Bay. We were out drinking with the locals in Breadfruit Lane just south of here the other day, which was a, a real experience. Have a look at my Rude Boy video. And then just up to the north there, you can see the main pool. As we head out now into the garden, then to the beach area, some of you might know that we did a section on smoking areas at all of the different sandals in St. Lucia. They're in my shorts section. <laughs> Sorry, that sounded a bit rude. They're not in my shorts at all. Um, they're in what YouTube called shorts on my channel. So there's, uh, there's nine or so videos on there, short videos of where all the different smoking areas are. And then as we head down onto this beautiful beach, this really reminds me of sandals in Barbados where you've got the beach and the resort all on the same level so you just walk straight out and into the ocean it's really stunning folks You've got these rendezvous suites here. We really fancy doing a rendezvous at some point. They look really great inside. And now let's just have a little pan back across the beach because this is truly beautiful, folks. It really is. In addition to those swings in the water over the sea, you've also got this swinging bed here and then you've got another swinging chair there and just off to the back there it's a little bit difficult to make out in the video but there's a couple of those egg chairs on swings as well and now we're basically heading off resort by the look of it so we're just having a little look see around here and then we're going to wander back because i need a cocktail <laughs> now i'm not normally a bit of a del boy like that but i want something long and cool and fruity <laughs> i've done it again you won't find that in my shorts either something long and cool and fruity here we go have a little look see at this peeps just over there is Rodney Bay Marina and we were sat just to the left of it at the bottom of Breadfruit Lane where we had a beer with some of the locals and some friends of ours who'd come into port while they were on a cruise. Now these over the water suites, I wouldn't mind these ones on this side, but I didn't really fancy the ones on the far side that we just walked past looking back over the resort. I'd want something a little bit more private to be honest with you. So we, we do like where we are. I, I can't obviously give a, a full informed decision because we're not staying at this one. And obviously, you know, we, we haven't stayed at the um, Halcyon Beach either. But if I was going to rate the resorts in a one, two, three, and you know, that's not to say any of them are bad, but I think, I think Latok, I do like, I prefer. And that could be a bit of uh, bias creeping in because we're staying there. But this would be a real close second. I would gladly come here we and do a week here. Not a problem with that at all. Um, Halcyon Beach. I don't know, what do you think? It's lovely, but no. No, uh, not I, think, I think, yeah, it's, it's, it's a third from both of us. And I think if we were going to do you know, uh, a sandals on St. Lucia again. We might come here and we, without a shadow of a doubt, go back to the top. But this one would be a, a close run second. So this would be a, if the money was right and the ring was right, we'd actually come here instead of the top. But the top is, I think for us at the moment, at least probably the one that we choose. Yeah, the people there are. And a lot of people have said that funnily enough. A lot of people have said with Latok that the customer service, the way the staff go above and beyond, 
<laughs> it's it's more personal. You know, we've had the duty manager Trisha down to see us, and every time she sees on the resort, she gives us a big shout out and a big smile. Um, it's, and I would say as well, use the Gina system. So if you get the sandals app when you come here, there's a messaging system in it called Gina. And it's not for complaints. Yes, you can put complaints into it, but it's also just to give a little bit of feedback, like some positive feedback. Give to give a give a staff member who's made you smile. Just drop them a quick line. They love it. They absolutely love it. It's not like you're you're getting on their tits or nothing. It is really like you know they're they're so glad to hear that somebody went above and, and beyond. It's like Priscilla. Yeah, it's lovely. Well, she's lovely. We, we got served by Priscilla at dinner the other night. Uh, me and my wife, me and Mrs. Tooth, we looked at each other and went, we want to take her home. She's so lovely. She is, you know, big smile, like like everybody's grandmother. Uh, and the staff in the bar, in the pub. Yeah, the guys in the pub over, over at La Toca, brilliant. You know, they got your drinks down. They know what you're having. Uh, you're not asking for anything. It's, it's just done. Uh, you know, Mando's in the morning, you know, um, Martina, our, our housekeeper. We just love the people at La Toc. And I, I think that's that might actually be why my head is yeah. going back there, because of the people. And I've said this somewhere else in a Sandals video, you know. Sandals isn't just a holiday. It's an experience. It's about people and emotions and feelings and sandals know that right and when they do it well they do it really well so i hope you've enjoyed that that is our resort review of the grand saint lucian on the beautiful island of saint lucia brought to you by sandals and two talks travel late as potatoes and before i say it hit the subscribe button or I'm going to come round your house and bop you on the nose. Pew, 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 pew. Off your pop.